Hey, 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 Eagles. How are you guys? Okay, so. Bold statement, huh? But it's true. So will you get tagging your team? So we've got lots of people uh, coming on, I hope. Hey, Sue. Um, get tagging. Hey, Jamila. Hey, Paulina. Hey, I hope you guys have had a really great day. Hey, Faya. Oh, we got all the managers on. Look at this. They know. They know the secrets. They want you guys to hear. Hey, Nicola. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Beanish. Um, I mean, this is is so the most pivotal thing when you're building your business. You know, if you really want to build a business, you need to know this. Uh, hey, Vic, how are you going? Hope the boat's okay. Hey, Rachel, superstar Rach, back in the game this year. Everything's transformed because of the trainings we've been doing. The step-by-step -step trainings, which all of you can find them on the website under Network Marketing, Plus, Network Professional Plus, and under A Fresh Start 2019. So if you're someone who maybe isn't very organized in their business, hasn't been getting the results that they want, uh, has kind of felt a little disheartened, you know it's you, you know you're not putting the time in, so you want to get structured and organized, you have to listen to those trainings. Hey, Karina, I can't wait to see you at Success Day. Hey, Alice. Okay, so you ready for this? This is one thing. In fact, let me press record. This is a good idea to do this, Emma. Hokey cokey. Here we are. Hey, Claire. Hey, Leah. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick, Nick. Hey, Em. Right. Okay. So, and I'm going to be direct with this. This is not a long training of stuff. This is direct. Um, telling you exactly how it is. And some of you might find it a little bit harsh, but I don't mean it for that. I mean it for if you learn this in your business, you will never, ever fail. This is one thing that I see people, see great people, you know, who have everything going for them. Uh, they've got everything they need to build an amazing business. But I see people sabotaging themselves all the time, all the time. Now, this is not something that I've struggled with. You know, there's a lot of different personality types out there. You've got red personality is really aggressive. You've got blue, which is fun, yellow, warm hearted. They want to save the world and help everyone. This is a lot of people. And green, super analytical. This is more geared towards those yellow personalities, those warm hearted, save the world, help everyone kind of people. This is like me. So what do you do? when you want other people to succeed more than they want it themselves. Now, this is things that so many people struggle with. When you're building a team, you want your team to succeed more than they want it themselves. This is the hardest thing to cope with in business. I've seen so many people who have, have everything and more that it takes to make it big. And I mean, build incredible businesses. They've left, they've stopped, they still just order products themselves. They give up because of this, which is crazy. And I mean, they have everything to build a business, but the truth is, this is the truth. Not everyone is gonna do it. It's not that they don't want, they don't have what it takes. It's just that they're not willing to do what it takes to succeed. That's the difference. Not everyone is gonna do it. You maybe have some people in your team. You might have some people who are really close to you, you know, your mom, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your best friend, and they just will not take the actions necessary to succeed. And you want it so bad for them. You know, you want them to, to win so, so bad. So what do you need to do when you want someone else to succeed more than they want to succeed themselves? Exactly what you need to do is go succeed yourself Show them what's possible. Think of this example. And I'm serious about this. Like this is, this is it. So people can say, okay, so Dan, I see you commenting like so frustrated. Okay, but listen to what I'm going to say. And then you're like, ah, actually, yeah, she's right. <laughs> it's true. You need to go succeed yourself and show them what's possible. Now, I'm going to give you this example because not everyone is going to want to do it. Yeah, not everyone is going to want to do what we do. Not everyone is going to want to do the action necessary to be successful. Let me give you a little bit, a little bit of an analogy. Okay, this is what it's like when you want people to succeed so much more than they want it for themselves. This is what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to give you an example here. So 
you see someone driving and you just happen to have a float with you. So you see them drowning, you have the float, and you say to them, hey, hey, you know, here's the float. And you throw the float to them, and they keep throwing it back, and they're still drowning. And you're like, oh my God, you're drowning. Please take the float. And you keep flo throwing the freaking float. And you're like, save yourself. Here's a float. You're drowning, and this is going to save your life. You keep throwing it at them and throwing it at them, and you're so frustrated. You're like, here this is a lifesaver you know it's right freaking here and all you have to do is grab it what you've got to realize is that you can't control other people's actions people are going to do what they're going to do they have to do it for themselves you can't do it for them so no matter how much you want to save their life no matter how much you want to throw them the freaking float if they don't want to take it they don't want to take it but the reality is the reality is there are so many other people drowning, looking for a float, and you have it, but you're throwing it to the same damn person over and over again. You're throwing it to the person who says, I don't want to be saved. Go away. I'm happy drowning. And while you're trying to save this person who's drowning and doesn't want to be saved, there's all those other people who want to be saved, but you won't save them because you're trying to save the one that doesn't want to be saved. It's stupid, isn't it, when you put it like that? So you let the other people drown in life and they don't even know about this float. They don't know that, you know, you're right there with a float because you haven't told them about your opportunity. So think as, of forever as the float. Your business, your products, your opportunity, you've got the goods, but you're letting other people drown because you're trying to keep selling it to the person who's not doing anything. So you end up not doing anything or quitting because you're like, oh, Mary, Lisa, Damien, Ian, you know, my team's not doing anything. And you get frustrated and you quit. When there are people all over that want to be saved. So all you have to do is throw it to them. Throw it to the right people. If there's any hope of them grabbing the float, doing anything, any hope of them achieving financial freedom, any hope of them getting out of their crappy situation that they're in, it's going to happen because you showed them what to do. You showed them what's possible. People ask me all the time, you know, outside of forever, within forever, what's the best way to motivate your team, man? How can I motivate my team? Well, that is the stupidest question, really. Because what am I supposed to, if it was as easy as one sentence, would every person in my team not, you know, have built a business as big as I have? Of course, I want it for them. I want it for you. I want you to succeed a million times more than you want to succeed yourself. I promise you I do. But how can you motivate a team? So what is the answer? How can I motivate my team? People, oh, my team just aren't doing anything. Oh, my team just dropped off in December. Oh, my team just, oh, no, 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 no. That is not the answer. The answer, how can you motivate your team? This is the answer. Find the motivated people. Build another team and show your existing team that it's possible. Build another team and show your existing team that it's possible. People do things based on belief. They see someone else performing at a high level and that person's performing at a high level because they saw somebody else performing at that level and thought, well, if they can do it, then I can do it. And that is what motivates your team. I know you're trying to be like pumping up your team because you're excited and oh, I'm back to work. So, oh yeah, my team should be too, but they're not reacting and it's frustrating and it's annoying or a couple of months, just like going to the gym in January and it stops. You know, you, you might be the person who's begging them for a planning meeting, begging them to have a launch, begging them to come to success day, begging them to listen into the trainings, tagging your life away on the lives thinking, just listen to this. If you listen to this, you'll get it. No, they won't because they don't want to be saved. And you're killing yourself doing it, being frustrated. You're not helping these people by trying to give them the float because they don't want the float. So go find the people that are motivated. There's two different mentalities. There is scarcity and there is abundance. Now, the scarcity mentality is trying uh, to save the same person over and over, throwing, throw it, it's so hard to say, throwing that float to the same person over and over because in your mind you're thinking I finally got one and they're not doing anything 
And the scarcity comes from you believing that there's no one else out there that really wants to be saved. There are a lot, a lot of other people that want to be saved. But if you have that mentality, you're never going to find those people that want to be saved because you don't even believe that they're there. But they're everywhere. And that's why I've started to become more fly or die. You know, I'm like, to, to the people that I, I recruit, I'm like, you know, call me every day, text me every day, voice memo me every 10 minutes, telling me what you're doing. You know, I want to work with you. I want to support you. I want to mentor you. I want to train you. I want to teach you everything I know. I want to help you build a business the size that I have, the income that I have. You know, uh, you'll give up on yourself before I give up on you. But if I'm not hearing from them, because they're not doing the work, what am I going to do? Am I going to try and beg them to do it? No, I'm not a beggar. I'm not a beggar. <laughs> you should not be begging. Go find the motivated people. Get them started. Ever heard this saying in our industry? Oh, it's not this one. Sorry. Oh, I don't know where I Wait there. Oh, I missed it out. They're saying in our industry, which says, professionals sort, amateurs sell. Write this down, professionals sort, amateurs sell. There's multiple sorting that we need to do in network marketing. You've got to sort through enough people to find the people who join. You've got to sort through enough people um, who join to get the ones who do anything. You've got to sort through the ones who do anything to get the builders. You've got to sort through the builders to get to the leaders. You've got to sort through the leaders to find the legends. And you'll only find the legends if you're a legend yourself. And the only way to be a legend is to go through the numbers, is to go through the numbers. I am being coached this year by Ray Higdon. He is literally, um, I would say, on par with Eric Worre. He doesn't build a network marketing team. He's a coach. He's a trainer, but he's done it. That's the difference. I've never invested in my business before. I don't suggest any of you go out paying for coaches. You don't need to. You have me. I've done what you want to do at whatever level. I can share with you. I share with you everything for free. You don't need coaches. But I personally, I, you know, I, I want somebody who's built something humongous because I have a massive vision for Eagles team and I want you guys to be part of it and I'll be sharing it with you very soon. But I seriously want you to understand all of this stuff and I want you to understand how to be a legend because you can have a lot of people who fall by the wayside, a lot of people who aren't willing to do what it takes to save themselves and you're going to have to be okay with that. You're going to have to be okay with it. I can't tell you how many times me and Lisa Prescott have had this conversation. You know, God, I have this person in my team. She's so, she could be so amazing. If she just, no, they're drowning and they don't want help. So that's fine. They don't want the float. You go find people who want the float, who want to be saved. Be proud of yourself that you've at least offered them, you know, the, the lifesaver. At least you told them, you know, hey, I'm here for you. You'll never suffer from lack of support. I'm here. You know, you do what's necessary necessary to be the ideal leader be the person who's there for them but if they're not going to reach out if they're not going to take the float then you do the right thing go save the people who want to be saved go save the people that want to be saved that's how you build a massive business that's how you get to complete and utter financial freedom that's how you build a business like mine 10 times the size of mine does this make sense? Does it make sense? Okay, so no more drowning. <laughs> no more drowning. We are only gonna throw the float to the people who want saving. That's the deal. Because I promise the guy that I was just getting to that then I got off track, but the guy that is coaching me, Ray Higdon, he's amazing. And I'm part of their top earners club. So you have to send proof of your income to be part of this really elite club. And you get this incredible, incredible training. I'm spending a day in his home with him and his wife um, in February. And I'm excited to bring all of this training back to you guys. You see, that's why I go and get this stuff because I can bring it back to you and I can, I can help you. I can help the ones who want to be saved. Saved, you know the ones who were doing it so um he uh, said to me you know what and i sponsored 42 people none of them duplicated nobody else sponsored a single person that's hard that's frustrating you know he was doing the work he sponsored 42 people over a short period of time too 42 people when he sponsored person number 43 
that person sponsored 290 people in 90 days. 290 people in 90 days, the 43rd person he sponsored. 290 people into your team in th within three months. Those people brought people into the business. Why? Because the guy that he sponsored was doing it. He was doing it and so were his team. They saw, oh, well, if he can achieve it, I can achieve it. So they were doing it too. They started doing it. That brought thousands and thousands of people into Ray's team. And what the funny thing that happened is the 42 that weren't doing anything before, they suddenly woke up and like, oh my gosh, hang on a minute. It's not just Ray who could achieve this, actually. You know, maybe we can because this other team is achieving it. So build a new team. Go to the people who want to be saved. Don't waste your time messaging. Do you want to plan a meeting? Do you want to plan a meeting? Do you ready for your first steps to manager? Are you, are you going to do a launch? Are you come into success? Do you do? No, 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 no. <laughs> This is it. Go save the people that want to be saved. I hope that's given you food for thought. Comment in uh, the comments your uh, takings from it. And let's go do it. Go save those people who want to be saved.